All right, it's week eight of the NFL season. Got those Detroit Lions taking on those Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles flying into town. Lions coming off of the loss to the L.A. Rams and the Eagles coming off of a loss to the Raiders. So this is definitely one of those games where you know both teams are looking to rebound in. Let's just dive right into it. Starting with the Eagles, um, I think what they want to do offensively is kind of like what I think the Lions are trying to do. You know, they want to be able to run the football and, you know, set up a lot of play action stuff. And I think that that's where the Eagles are definitely going to be at their strongest, even though I don't think they've been very consistent at, like, running the football as where I think they should be or could be, especially with um, Hurts at quarterback. You can, that's like a dual threat there. And on the flip side, defensively, um, I think the Eagles do like a lot of things, you know, as far as um, the movement. And I think they want to get at the quarterback. I mean, who doesn't want to get at the quarterback, you know, kind of like mess around with that stuff. But they, they definitely got some speed out there. So that's definitely something to count for. And on the flip side, looking at the Lions offensively, like I said, I think they want to be able to try and run the football here, you know, set up the play action. So I think uh, whoever is able to run the ball the best in this matchup, you know, is definitely going to have a, a nice advantage, um, you know, not only um, the throughout the game, but especially going down to the fourth and possibly even closing the game out, depending on which team has the lead or not. Um, as far as the Lions defense, uh, same deal, you know, I think they want to try and get to the quarterback, but at the same time, you want to be able to stop the run, because I think that's going to be the main thing. Whichever team who can shut down the run the best is definitely going to have that heavy advantage, and ultimately could be the team who actually ends up winning this game. So, both teams have had their struggles, I think, but both teams, especially offensively, I don't think they've fully gotten to the point where, you know, they have their full identity down as far as being consistent with what they're trying to do out there. And that could be, you know, a lack of uh, players or, you know, new schemes and, like, new, like, this is Jalen Hurts' like, you know, first full year as a starter. And he hasn't even played a full season in the NFL. And then with um, Jared Goff, you know, a whole new team, a bunch of new receivers. And, you know, we had guys, a lot of guys on IR. So I don't think you're going to see either of these teams at full strength um, not, even in this game, but just the rest of the season, you know, going forward, I don't think we're going to see what these teams can really be. It's just both teams are definitely struggling, and this is definitely not their years. But as far as this matchup is concerned, this is definitely a tough one. Last week I had I had picked the L.A. Rams to blow out the Lions, but this week, you know, I think we have a closer game. It's kind of tough for me to, to choose because, like I said, there's a lot of inconsistencies on both sides. Like, you see in flashes from the Lions, same thing with the Eagles, you see in flashes – of like greatness, especially on what one specifically on offense for both of these uh, two teams. Defensively, you know the Eagles have done some good things. Like you know, in some games, I mean, they struggled last week with the Raiders, uh, with with Derek Carr and those those boys out there. They definitely struggled against the Raiders, but prior weeks they've had some really good defensive games. And then with the Lions, same thing. They've had some decent defensive games, but then they've had some like even against the Bengals, like they did they did well in the first half, but then in that second half, you know. Joe Burrow and their offense really got it going, and I think a big part of that was, you know, the Lions' offense not really being able to accumulate anything, and the Lions' defense being out there for so long really affected them. So as far as this week, it's it's one it's a tough matchup just on that thing. There's just so many inconsistencies, and you're not sure what you're going to get. But with both of these offenses being where they are, and where both of these defenses being where they are, it's really tough for me to really decipher who's going to win this game. And I think it's going to be close, though. When in doubt, I usually go with the home team, so I'm going to pick the Detroit Lions to get their first win this week. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the Eagles come in here and win either. Like I said, I think this will be a close game. Um, it just really comes down to who can run the football better. If the Eagles are able to get that down, you know, they could run away with this. Same deal with the Lions. If they're able to run the football and hold the Eagles in the run, they could definitely run away with it as well. So I'm predicting this to be anywhere from a 3 to 10 point game. I don't think it's going to be a blowout in any means, a stretch of the imagination. I believe it'll go right down to the wire. It could even be one of those. Which team has it last? You get a defensive stop or a team just needs a field goal, you know, to take over or even a touchdown. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'm expecting a close one. I, I do pick the Lions to win their first game. Eagles fans, Lions fans, let me know what your thoughts are, who you have in this game. And go Lions, and I'll see you next week.